What's up guys? Um, this is a last minute tutorial. Um, I'm doing this at uh, 1 in the morning, so if I um, give you some misinformation, I'm sorry, okay? And uh, you know, just 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 so you know, you know, I'm not sure who watching this channel, but whatever it is, I'm just trying to provide you information, okay? So basically today, well, this trade is May 14, 2015 right now. You know, it's 1 in the morning, so it's May 15 now. So basically, um, the trade is about Goku, okay? So the down went down like um, 400 in the morning and then bounced back and closed like four, nearly 400 point up. So, but the thing is, as you could see here, Google just fluctuate around the closing price yesterday and then it's closed down. And this is where we want to focus our trade, okay? So basically, I did not take this trade. I was really debating. I was watching this for the last 30 minutes of the day, the minute I saw this formation here. Um, this is, it looked like a, a, a descending triangle, but it, it is not really a descending triangle. It's very misleading because I'll show you uh, in, you know, I'll show you what it, it is actually is. Okay, so but right here is the focus, and I did not take this trade because it's only ten minutes left. I didn't feel like I didn't want to get stuck with it, and I was like, uh, if it does break down, would it go to the target? You know, so that's the only question. Because the thing is, also the S and P was moving up, also. So this is like against the the general market trend, but the technical for this is just so perfect, and that's why. I was debating and I decided not to take the trade. That's why I'm doing this tutorial so that, you know, I would learn something from it and then you learn something from it if you watch this video, you know? So basically, um, this is the trade. So let's go over it, okay? So as usual, I like to show you the daily chart, but at this point, this is the last 10 minutes of a trade, up of, of the day. So the daily chart really doesn't matter much unless it's, you know, it's this is today, okay? And this is yesterday's. Unless, you know, the, the break was right here, you know, the low of, yesterday low then that would be significant but it wasn't so the daily chart doesn't gonna give you any information at all at this point all right all right so basically this is the trade and I use the one minute chart and the three minute chart okay the one minute chart zoom into the action okay so I could see what's going on okay and then the three minute chart you know it just give you me an overall general picture all right, so uh, let's put some uh, resistance and support in, okay? So right here, all right? This this tray has no catalyst, uh, literally no catalyst. There's no news, no nothing. And it just fluctuated, it just trade with the market, but unfortunately it wasn't, all right? And so basically this, this trade is pure technical, all right? And um, let's go over the criteria for the tray, okay? So this is a short tray, okay, just so you know. The rel relative strength for this trade is not strong um, because, like I say, the uh, the S and P close up like a more than a, per a percent up, and then the S and P the the Dow Jones was you know f more than three hundred point up closing. Okay, so basically relative strength is not there. All right. Sec second thing is that the movement of the uh, the stock it was up opposing the s p and i'll show you that later uh, on the next screen slides okay and then um you know the thing is you know a lot of people look at this right look at this they think this is a descending triangle but this is not a descending triangle even, even though it has kind of three peak here one two three but you know that is not really this is more like a channel and if you know stocks usually trade in channel and that's the thing right here. See, this the lower high right here. The the yeah, the lower higher low, higher low right here. This kind of like signal is not a descending triangle. Usually, this should be like very close to this line, you know. Uh, but there is one thing right here. So basically, just so you know, this is a a channel, okay, and this is the break down here so that's the thing okay so it's not a descending triangle so don't get that messed up all right so it's consolidated sideways for a bit and it's finally broke and it's broke 10 minutes every like lately every like the last 10 minutes of a day 
there is like a move, a big move. I, I'm not sure what it is, maybe a pre-order, or closing, whatever, but of the big index or whatever. So basically, that's the 10 minute, and that's when it broke, okay? So just, just so you know. And then uh, I look at this, so it's just stay perfectly in the channel, all right? And then the um, there is a lower high, and that is the lower high right here. Okay, I'm talking about this one, not this one. This one is good too. The, I'm, I was like the minute this one I put in, I did put in the order, and then I just closed out because it got to the ten minute mark. I'm like, I'm not gonna take this trade anymore, you know. So that's 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 the thing. Uh, so, but the, this is very good. I like this because, you know, that brings to the next point. Okay, so basically the lower high, right? It gives you a good risk reward ratio. So basically you could choose here as a stop loss. If you, you know, break down here, this should be the stop loss. Or if you want, you could do this as a stop loss or breaking above. So, but this I think is the best uh, place to place a stop loss. If it move above this, I think the trade is done because, you know, it's bound off and it, you know, it go above this downtrend line, okay? So basically, so a lower high providing, you know, better risk reward ratio for the trade, all right? And then uh, this is the good thing, tested the low before breaking down. See, when there is a higher low here, I'm very skeptical that this one gonna break, so I'm looking for it to bounce off this before it break. And it did exactly like it, and especially the S and P. Way into the next slide, I'll show you because the S and P was moving up too. So we were like, you know what, I ain't getting in, in this. You know, some people got in this, and you know they they might get wicked out. You know, depends uh, if you whether or not you discipline or not, or whether or not you see this channel. That's another thing. Okay. All right. So selling volume. Because selling volume, there was a little bit elevated but it wasn't um, you could see it you know it's not really this this volume right here kind of mess it up but still I don't think it was uh, significant all right and then the entry price okay entry price when you short something you want it should be low the VWAP okay and then below the 20 day moving average okay so basically this is a, it's nearly perfect setup for it to break down right? especially when they have this small bounce right here that make it perfect and it's perfectly stay in the channel you know, so that's the thing. Like it's a perfect technical, and I just didn't want to take it, and I kind of regret it. You know, even though I know it's it's a one to one, um, it's like eighty cent risk. Okay, and they give you a little bit more than eighty cent here. You know, and it reached when it reached this, and it's bounced right away. See how how perfectly technical this is. You know, and um, you know that's the, that's the only thing. Like I I, I like this is like technical versus the s p the general market okay so basically that's the, the the criteria so basically this is where your entry okay and your target you know is 80 cent you risk around 80 something cent and uh, you should get out at this point you know so and as you can see this perfectly trade it just run out of time here there's not enough time left to play all right and then the minute it broke down you see how volume elevated you know that's a good thing. You know the minute the volume elevated, you know people are watching this and they come in and just short this sucker down. Okay, so basically, that is the technical for this trade. Okay, and you know last but not least, and this is very important to me because I think everyone should trade with the S and P. Okay, so this is an overlay of the S and P. Okay, and as you could see, S and P is just escalating, moving up. And right here, that's where the opposing move, okay? So the S&P were elevating, you know, it's, it's climbing up here, and this stock is opposing. The relative strength is already weak, and then it's not moving with the S&P. It's supposed to move up, but as yet it's moved down, okay? So it's kind of mirror a little bit here, but like it make a lower low here, and then, you know, move up, but it's move up as a, a lower high, you know? And then here is make a lower low, you know right here and then it's bounced and it did not bounce all the way and that's where it is the last 10 minutes you know like it was like should i take it now because this one was up and like right here too right the move you know that's why i was like i'm not moving in here because the trend is up on s p so that's why you know sometimes you don't want to get in here i don't and i did not 
and the minute it went out and give you a few more like this is a three minute chart so like you know all this time right here so it's a really good setup to the downside so as you can see right this is just like a perfect technical setup and uh, you know that's I didn't take I did not take the tray it would have worked out but that's why I make this video so that I reminded myself and you know I'll I'll show you what the thing is you know just just so you know you could learn something from from my um, from my regret anyway guys that's it thank you for watching the video and um, happy trading okay bye